Hi students, welcome back. Today we are starting with a new chapter, chapter 14, how big, how heavy. In this chapter we are learning the concept of volume and we are learning how to find out the volume of a cube and a cuboid. Before coming into that, we should know what is a volume. What is a volume? Volume is the amount of space it occupies. Suppose you take a container, the 3D object you take, a cube, a cuboid like boxes. You have box in the shape of cube, pencil boxes in the shape of cuboid. Okay, the space occupied by 3D shapes. How much space? Suppose you take a bottle. How much space the water is taking in that bottle? All these means volume. So, volume is the amount of space it occupies. How much space it is taking uh, in a in a container or in an object. Okay. Now, how to write out the units of volume? Suppose a question is given in centimeter, your unit should be written as Cu Cm. Cu is cubic, cubic centimeter. The question is given in meter, you will write it as cubic meter after finding out the volume. If the question is given in millimeters, you will write it as cubic millimeters. So, this is how you write the unit. How did you write the units for area? It was square meter, square centimeter. Yes, when it comes to volume, it will be cubic meter or cubic centimeter. So, what is volume? A volume is the amount of space an object occupies. Amount of space it is occupying. You take a 3D object, you take a container, how much space? How much space a particular uh, uh, liquid item or whatever. If you fill something, take a box, you fill something. How much space that uh, items are taking in that box? That is meant by volume. Okay. Usually we deal volume with uh, liquids and all. Now, as I told you, here we will be learning how to find out the volume of a cube and a cuboid. We know cube and cuboid both are 3D shapes, right? Cube is formed by drawing two squares right and cuboid is formed by doing, drawing two rectangles that is the faces of the cube is square in shape and the faces of the cuboid are rectangular in shape. So, what do we have over there? We will be having the length, we will be having the breadth and we will be having the height. When you deal with cuboids, when you have 3D shapes, you have one more side over there, right? That is the height because cuboid is a 3D shape. So, we have length, we have breadth and we have height. But when you come to a cube, we know all the sides are same, right? Since all the sides are same, I have given the name for all the sides as A itself. But when you come to cuboid, we have a length, a longer side, shorter side breadth and you have the height of the object. You have the height of the solid, that is so, I have given that as h. So, to find the volume of a cube, what we do is, we just need to multiply a into a into a. That is the length, the breadth and the height. The length, the breadth and the height. Similarly, when you come to cuboid, here all the sides will be different, right? Different values it will be having. So, to find out the volume of a cuboid, you will multiply length into breadth into the height. Length into breadth into height. So, obviously when you see both are same, only thing when you come to cube, all the sides will be same, when you come to cuboid, the sides can be same or it can be different, it depends. Okay. So, this is how you find the volume of a cube and a cuboid. Now, we will just do some questions based on that. First question, find the volume of the following, question A. Length is given as 12 centimeter, breadth is given as 10 centimeter and height is given as 6 centimeter. So, from this it is understood, it is a cuboid, right? Because the length, breadth and height are all different. So, we can write volume of cuboid equal to length into breadth into height. What is the length? 12, breadth is 10, height is 6. So, what you get? We know 12 into 6 is 72. 72 into 10 you get 720 and what is the unit children? If the question is given in centimeter, unit is cubic centimeter, cubic centimeter, okay. Now, second one, length is 5 meter, breadth is 5 meter, height is also 5 meter, height is also 5 meter. 
So from that what is understood? What is a cuboid? What is a solid shape over here? It is a cube. So you can write volume of cube that is equal to A into A into A. You can also write it as length into breadth into height. It is up to you. So 5 into 5 into 5 that is equal to 125 cubic meter because the question is given in meter. So answer should be cubic meter. So this is how you find out the volume. You have one question for homework. L is 15 meter, breadth is 7 meter and height is 10 meter. Okay. Now, we will do a different type of question. Finding the missing side. Remember, we did this in area. The area was given to you and one side was given to you. You will find out the other side. Find the missing side. Here also it is like this. You have three sides. So, they will give you two sides. They will give you the volume and you have to find out the third side. What we will do children? To find out the volume, we multiply is not it? So, to find out the side, what we will do? We will divide. But there is a small difference here. Here the length and breadth is given to you. You have to find out the height. So, to find out the height, you have to divide the volume with length into breadth. You have to divide the volume by length into breadth. You have to multiply the length and breadth and then divide it with the volume. And divide the volume with that. So, what is the volume here? You have 120. What is the length? 6. What is the breadth? 4. So, 120 divided by 24. Okay, 120 divided by 24 and when you divide, you will get the answer as 5 unit is centimeter. 124, 120 divided by 24, you get the answer as 5 centimeter. So, how do we do this to find out the third side? We will divide the volume by the product of the other two sides. We will divide the volume by the product of the other two sides. See, in this question, you are given the breadth and the height. You have to find out the length. Okay. So, what we will do? Length is equal to volume divided by product of the other two sides. What is the other two sides? Breadth and height. Breadth and height. So, what is the volume? 224 divided by 4 into 8. So, 224 divided by 32. How many times? How many times it will go? 7 times. 224 divided by 30, you get 7 and the unit is meter because the questions are given in meter. So, 224 divided by 32, you get the answer as 7 meters. So, that means the length is 7 meters. Okay. So, you have one question for homework over here. Length is 12 centimeter, height is given to you, you have to find out the breadth. So, what you will do? Volume divided by length into height. Okay. So, how to find out the volume of a cube and cuboid? We know both cube and cuboid are solid shapes. So, they will be having three sides that is the length, breadth and the height. Okay. We need to find out the length, breadth and height. Multiply the length, breadth and height to find out how much space that particular object of that particular solid is occupying. Okay? So, to find out the volume of a cube and a cuboid, you just have to multiply the length, breadth and the height. Okay? Thank you.